is Riho Ramachi. The state of New York is charging Leonora Ashburn Ham with manslaughter in the second degree in the death of Florence, and I'm the prosecutor of, the, of this case. At the, at the conclusion, I will ask for a verdict of guilty. To begin with, um, apparently, Florence's uh, demagogic behavior and words towards Leonora motivated her to take revenge on Florence. When the two couples went to the city of M to see Martin Luther's 95 Thesis, Florence said, I simply can't understand how you can let him live by your side and be so ignorant. Later in, the, in part one, chapter four, Florence looked straight into Edward Asperham's eyes and rubbed his wrist in front of Leonora and Dull, the, uh, Florence's husband. Um, after this, Leonora grabbed John by his wrist and ran out of the room. Leonora said, I cannot, I can't stand this. I must get out of this. Leonora's re remark demonstrates that she knew that Florence was having an affair with Leonora's husband, Ed Edward Ashburnham, and her sarcasm made Leonora upset. In another time, Florence tried to persuade Leonora that she loved Edward in spiritual way. These are strong pieces of evidence that proves that she had a desire to get rid of uh, a nuisance, Florence. In part three, chapter one, Leonora knew that Florence had been carrying a little bottle of little brown flask, and the liquid inside of the flask was not nitrate of milk, nitrate of a milk for her heart, but actually it was the nitrate of prussic acid. Prussic acid contains cy cyanide compound, a chemical substance that is very toxic to the human body. In addition, she knew that Florence was in love with Edward. When she told uh, Florence to chaperon Edward and Nancy, Le Leonora said, I wish you would go with those two. I think the girl ought to have the appearance of being chaperoned in these places. This statement shows that she knew something was wrong with the relationship between Edward and Nancy. Knowing these facts, she told Florence to chaperone them when they were going to a concert at the casino. This shows that Leonora intentionally made her follow, made her follow them in order to break Florence's heart by making Florence see Edward fall, falling in love with Nancy. There were enough factors for Leonora to kill Florence. Dawo describes there was an unusual, almost a threatening hardness in her voice. He also said that she would seriously harm my wife, harm my wife, if Florence went to something extreme. These quotes shows that, from a, from a neutral point of view, he could tell that Leonora did not like Florence. According to the State of New York law, under the statute section 125.515 for the section manslaughter in the second degree. A person is guilty of manslaughter in the second degree when he intentionally causes or aids another person to commit suicide. This law applies to this case because Leonora had a reasonable motive to make Florence to commit suicide, even though the ultimate cause of her suicide is Mr. Bakshul Shoei's revelation to John that she was having an affair with a man called Jimmy who was from much lower class than she was. Florence action had gave the assistance to Florence to commit suicide. At the conclusion of this case, I would ask jury to find the defendant guilty. Uh, thank you. I would like to um, I like to say I like to stand as a defender for Leona Ashburnham for this case. Um, first of all, uh, the process for Rihomi Ramachi, prosecutor Rihomi Ramachi, uh, claimed that. Um, claimed that Leonora had the intention to let um, let, Dallas, uh, no, let Florence suffer and he didn't like, um, he didn't like Florence. Hmm? She didn't like Florence. But, um, however, this is only what Dow thinks and it is not reliable that the fact that Leonora thought this way towards Edward. Um, throughout the novel, Leonora is described as the strongest and the coldest. For example, in 182, in the novel, it says that Leonora is the strongest and the coldest woman that is in the older characters that appear in the novel. Also, Leonora actually tells Florence that if you want to tell me that you are Edward's mistress, you can be. I have no use for him. Um, this also shows that he has she has her own confidence and 
she doesn't really care about the other bears, that she, it's, it's the better that she gets Edward back in the end. And also, uh, there's a scene, uh, there's a scene, uh, there's a place where Florence shows that she is confident in, her, in herself that she could discourage Florence by saying, I should think myself defiled if Edward touched me now that he has touched you. That would be in 155 in uh, The Good Soldier. This shows how she is, um, she was really encouraged. Uh, she, is, she could discourage Leona because she's, she has confidence that Edward actually would come back to her. In this. And the second claim that you made or the prosecutor made, was about, um, <laughs> was about Miss Maiden, yes? Hmm? <laughs> uh, okay, so the second, uh, you said, you said that you know, Leonardo had the intention to, um, to let Florence go, go with Edward, but to follow, to follow, Edward and Nancy, but actually it was what she, only she suggested. It was actually the Florence's Florence's choice to follow. So first, Leonora has only suggested Florence to follow Edward and Nancy. She did not force her. Again, Leonora only said, "I wish you, you would go with these two. She did not force them to go. It was just, "I wish." So she didn't. She didn't. Um, it wasn't a forceful thing to. And she did not have to do it if Florence didn't want to do it. So this wouldn't um, apply for the claim that you made. Okay. <laughs> you. Uh, Would that be my last? Okay. okay. Also, we can say that Florence decided to commit suicide on her own, not forced or intentionally killed by someone again, because Florence was found dead when uh, found dead lying quite respectably, res respectively arranged, unlike Miss Maiden's death. And uh, this shows that when she was uh, that she was ready to die when um, she drank the poison. She was uh, sh if she was rushed or forced, uh, she would it would be not respectively uh, respectively arranged the bed. So this shows that how she was ready to die at the end. Um, actually, she was more rather more calm about her death. And on part three, act one, Dowell says, "But I dare say Bagshaw, we Bagshaw, who may have been the determine determining influence in her suicide." Leonardo says that she had blank. She had that flask, apparently of nitrate of ammo, but actually of prussic acid for many years, and that she was determined to use it if ever I discovered the nature of her relationship with that fellow Jimmy. This shows that seeing Bachelor Lee with Dell is an additional cause for Florence to decide to commit suicide, which means that it wasn't, um, it wasn't someone told to uh, let Florence die, uh, Leonora, uh, wait, Florence commit suicide, it was actually her um, own decision. Um, according to uh, the, the statute uh, one two twenty five point one five, it says that he um, the person is guilty of manslaughter in the second degree when uh, he intentionally causes or aids another person to commit suicide. So if um, you said that um, uh, Leonora didn't force her to. A commit suicide, and um, I, this is true. But, but um, I, uh, this uh, her uh, Leonora's action had uh, um, somewhat assisted um, 
uh, for Lawrence to commit suicide, so this this law can be applied. However, there is no exact um, proof or evidence that Leonardo had the intention or aid to lead the Florence to commit suicide. It's actually your claim, not without the proof, so I don't think it, the case would apply. Um, 